Okay, but this here, they, they call it over medication overuse headache. They pinpointed the medications. What they did is they went back 15 years and they found medication overuse headaches. So they, 15 years of research, thousands of papers, and they found out that the causes remain the same. The name of the drugs and the type of the drugs changed. But the, the source of it, where it's over-medication use, didn't change. And that's what was unusual. Because we always say that, oh, the, the new pain reliever, try this new diet drug, this new uh, blood pressure medication. Over the 15 years, the types of medications changed, but the cause didn't. So all medications slow or stop a metabolic process. All pharmaceuticals can induce a, um, a medication-induced or a medication overuse headache. Did, isn't that huge? All medications? I thought that was unusual for a journal to say that. Now this, have you heard, seen this advertisement? Better all over. Because if you have a child with a headache, how many people are parents in here? Yeah, I love my kids. Okay, if my kids hurt and I want to help them. Would I ever give them something like this to cover up the symptoms? Well, according to this ad, it stops toothache, fever, earache, pains, aches. The problem is, this is out of the Journal of the American, Epidemi American Journal of Epidemiology, um, non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, this is a blood cancer. What they say, blood cancers are linked to all non-steroidal anti-inflammatories. This means Advil, Motrin, Ibuprofen, Tylenol, Aspirin, all non steroidal anti inflammatories are linked to cancer. I don't see that on here. Anybody see a warning that says be careful of using this? It can weaken the immune system to such an extent that it can cause cancer? I don't either. Okay, well, so this, they're talking about antibiotics, which is a very, very commonly prescribed thing, also linked to that. But now, now why, are we, why are we giving this medication? Because that's, that's not an accurate assessment. First, let's look at the body. Is the body smart? Yes or yes? Is it built by God? Yes or yes? Yeah, it is. It's smart. It's brilliant. Now, you can see this, that this is a reverse curve in the neck. Now, we just saw a picture of anatomy. We know that this brain is connected to that spinal cord, and that spinal cord controls every autonomic function you have, controls heart rate, respiration rate, controls immune system function. Now, you can see that this cord might not be having that free flow of information, right? Do you think that the body and its infinite wisdom is going to let you know that there's a problem? Absolutely. Now, do you think that this might have less pressure on that system? Remember, uh, the, the stats we just gave you, 93% of headaches are servogenic or come from the neck. Now, why would that be? Now, this is an MRI of this section here. This black line here is the brain stem. If, if you look, and the spinal cord. If you look at the spinal cord, it's not just a bundle of nerves. It's not like a, like a telephone cord. It's a long tubular brain. It has its own function. So now you can see here that that brain stem and, and spinal cord come down here, that it's pinched. So is the body going to let you know that it's pinched by giving you pain? Yes. Oh my gosh, because this controls every function in the, in the entire system. So that means if we have a system like this where that spinal cord is pinched, the body's going to give you that signal to tell you that there's a problem. Yes or yes? Now, the psych this is the crazy part. How do most people treat a headache today? What does the TV tell you? Take Tylenol. Yeah. Now, according to the Center for Disease Control in Atlanta, Tylenol is the deadliest drug in America. It's deadlier than heroin. In fact, it's deadlier than all illegal drugs combined Tylenol is. Yeah, they don't say that in the ads, though, do they? Okay, so, so now, but you could say aspirin. Aspirin's the leading cause of kidney disease. But, but to cover it up, none of those make sense. If it's Tylenol deficiency, that makes sense to me. If it's aspirin deficiency, that makes sense to me. But this, knowing that that symptom is there, it's trying to protect your body. Now, Journal of the American Medical Association non anti-inflammatories. I just showed you an article that shows that non anti-inflammatories are linked to cancer. Yes, bad, right? Okay. This one, in hospitals alone, this is a controlled environment. We know these people are sick. We, we know what drugs they're taking. They're given a drug, so there's no possible chance of an overdose. Well, generally not. Okay. And 16,000 people a year die? in a hospital setting, taking a non-steroidal anti-inflammatories. That's why 
do you think I have aspirin, Tylenol, Advil, Motrin, or any of those things in my house? Do you think any of my family members, my sisters, my mom, would have any of those drugs? In no, because it's illogical. It's not an accurate way to treat a human being. There's many other more effective alternatives. Aspirin. American Association for Cancer Research. They say that um, it's linked to pancreatic cancer. This is, again, a non steroidal anti-inflammatory. The problem is this causes disastrous results. Have you heard of an aspirin a day for a healthy heart? Really, Bear paid a billion or million dollars in fine in um, 2007 for making that claim. Aspirin is not just a blood thinner. It's a very, very powerful drug that can cause kidney damage. It's the leading cause of kidney disease and the leading, one of the leading causes of strokes. Uh, so it's a very, very powerful drug. But this one says there's a significant increased risk of pancreatic cancer in women. So again, to take a drug to cover up a symptom doesn't really make a lot of sense to me. Now, deaths per year, now this might be hard to see, the biggest one is tobacco, that's the biggest killer, properly prescribed drugs. Now look at this, properly prescribed drugs. Not improperly, not overdoses, <laughs> not, not, not taking the muscle relaxant, anti-inflammatory, the pain reliever, and the, and the Depakote together mixed up causing a drug reaction. These are properly prescribed drugs, alcohol and illegal drugs. So when you drive by the, the uh, high school over there and it says drug-free zone, I'm hoping that in my lifetime they'll be talking about this area, not that little tiny area on the side, because that's the real killer. But this, does headaches, do headaches cause pain? Yes or yes? Guess what chronic pain leads to? First off, if you're hurt, <laughs> good, that was meant to scare you. Were you scared just then? Yes, you were, okay? Pain does the same response. Under fear, and this is perceived danger, okay? Your body goes into the fight or flight system, okay? Under pain, it also goes in the fight or flight system. In fact, can I stand on your foot just for a second? Okay, see, okay, ow. Okay, under pain, his body goes into what's called the fight or flight system. So now what happens if you're being chased by a tiger? It's the same thing. So now if you're being chased by a tiger, what happens to the heart rate? Okay, let me ask it a different question. If you have a headache, what happens to the heart rate? It goes faster, exactly. Now, if you're being chased by a tiger, do you need a lot of available energy or a little? So if you're being chased by a tiger, your liver breaks down glycogen to glucose, blood sugar gets elevated. So that means that if you have a headache, what happens to blood sugar? Goes up. Oh my gosh. Do you want blood going to digestion when you're being chased by a tiger? Or blood going to arms and legs when you're being chased by a tiger? So when you have a headache, what happens to digestion? It gets shut down. When you have a headache, what happens to cortisol, which is the primary, it, its primary role is to downregulate insulin receptors. So headaches, chronic pain, will lead to diabetes, absolutely. It will absolutely lead to high blood pressure. It will absolutely lead to digestive anomalies, irritable bowel syndrome, malabsorption syndrome. It will absolutely weaken the immune system. Under any physical, chemical, or emotional stress, it weakens the immune system. And then, how about this? You get pain, the immune system's weak. Then you take a toxic substance such as a aspirin, Tylenol, Motrin, or Advil, and we already showed a proven to cause two different types of cancers, non-Hodgkin's lymphoma and pancreatic cancer. That's a deadly combination. Increased cancer rates and early degeneration. Why? Because we're missing the main cause of it. So now, can, can anyone in here understand when I hear at a party or someone says, oh yeah, I used to have a headache, but I just took a Tylenol. I'm fine. And my jaw drops open, and I leap across the table, and I grab the person, and I start shaking them. They think that's an overreaction. You don't, it seems normal now, doesn't it? It's like, oh my gosh, your life is shortened. 